Alright folks, welcome to this exciting video. We're once again in a brand new location for a video that I've never been to before. We're here at Lintraith and Loch Wildlife Reserve. I have been to Lintraith and Loch before on videos to explore, but never to this actual location here. Because this is quite a cool spot. There's actually an old causeway or a kind of track that leads out over the over the Lintrethan Reservoir. Back in the 1800s they built a reservoir here for the water supply of Dundee. And I'm guessing like this is some old causeway like from even before that. Before I go along there we'll take a wee look down here. Check this out folks. I think there's a lot of geese and stuff flying into this loch just now. One threaten loch. Don't know if there's anyone in the little bird hut to my right here. Oh, look at this, folks. This is what I'm talking about. This causeway goes across, and when when Lintwaithen Loch's high, you can't even like you can't even get across to this bit of land. This is incredible. Here's the bird watching hut up there. Check it out. There's swans. There's just all types of animals around here, and there's somebody out there on a wee fishing boat. I think maybe it was last year when the Lintraithen Loch was low, I went down a different route and I was able to get across to a little bit of land, which you can't normally get to, and I found like ruins of an old kind of farm building or whatever. But yeah, I'm just thinking that's maybe that gathering of trees over there. It's actually, it's quite a big loch. Normally, obviously, the water's like up to the top of here. Yeah, it's just so cool. Something a bit different. Walk along this bit of land here. There has been thunder and lightning this last couple of days and that, so I'm just hoping that none of that comes today when I'm out on this walk. Out on this pinnacle of land here. I like you can see there's water at both sides of it. Look at this folks, I think this is popular camping spots around here in the summertime. I think they get a bit of bother with people like leaving litter and leaving a lot of trash and stuff lying about. There's a crazy amount of geese and stuff over here and the swans as well. Wow. It's crazy, we're just like on this bit of land here between the two areas of water. Whoa. Yeah, it looks like with a heavy rain it's just flattened all this grass recently. The rain has been absolutely torrential folks this last couple of days. Probably this water's risen kind of in the last week. I love exploring new bits of land like this as well. You never know what's like around the corner. And I was just literally driving around the main road and I looked down and just saw this bit of land here and thought it'd be quite cool to go and explore. I think there'll be quite a lot of fish in Lintraith and Loch. Like it is a popular fishing loch. Most days if you drive past you see fishermen and their wee boats out there. Yeah, I think one of the times I came to this loch here, like, there was just geese everywhere and you couldn't have walked around here because there were so many. But I think it's just coming to the time of year now where the geese will start arriving to these spots. I'm sure the type of geese that it is over there is Canadian geese. I think there's a, there's a lot of ducks as well. The wildlife in these areas is just incredible, folks. And then there's a lot of swans. I do apologise for the wind at this side of the mound here. Oh, there's a big dragonfly. There's no way this is even going to come out on the camera. But there's a dragonfly there, which is like three inch long. Oh, it's just landed on the rock. It'll fly away before I get to it, but let's try and get a shot of the dragonfly. Folk. Nah, it's away. Wildlife on BKR, folks. It's not easy to catch dragonfly dragonflies on a GoPro. Here they come, folks. This is live 
geese flying over here. They've just literally taken off. They were probably over there thinking, right, we'll have to find more water. And then they realized, wow, there's a whole other lock just over here. Look at this, folks. This is incredible. This is some incredible wildlife right here at Lintraithen Loch because these two swans have got three little baby swans with them. That's so cool. When they were further away, I thought it was geese, but it's actually baby swans. So I'm not sure if this causeway of land at one time was a road or if it literally is just part of the engineering of the dam, but it is interesting to see a whole other angle here of Lintraithen Loch. Now I've come further around the corner, you can see back how the loch curves away around that corner to where the dam is. Look at this folks, this must be evidence of like an old bridge which may have been across here at one time, because we've got both these cement pieces at the bottom. Look at this. It's been like a, a stone sort of column in the middle. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I'm not sure that must have been... I'm guessing it was some sort of little bridge that went across. I'm seeing a lot of bees coming across here. There must be... Sometimes bees have a route that they go regularly, like a... Like a bee highway. And like, I'm reckoning... There's probably a beehive around here somewhere. These bits of cement here are like some real history. It sure has been something at one time. It's strange how it's been like two circular pipes which have been coming straight up. If it has been a bridge, I'm not sure like what type of bridge that would be. Not unless it's been some sort of like bracket for a pipeline or something like that. It's, just, it's hard to know folks. There's another bee coming past here. There's so many bees, folks. Like, when I've been walking across this causeway, the bees just fly along. They're no going quick. It's strange. I've not really seen that before. It's going to be so windy if I go this way, folks. So, let's go this way and explore. It's just like a spontaneous adventure. Because, Ken, that's sometimes when you see the coolest stuff. Kind of an unplanned adventure. It's just like, see what's round the corner. All those geese have actually gone into the water over there now. This is how spontaneous these adventures are, folks. The ground's awful soggy over that way, so I'm just thinking I'll go back over this causeway of land here and I'll explore around that way a little bit, folks. So I'm just curious to see what's round this rocky outcrop here. This section of land here can't be far from the old dam, which I have explored in previous videos. I'm sure it was built in 1836 or something like that. It was back in the day anyway for sure folks. I can see there's some people with like fishing boats and stuff moored at the other side there. Oh, this is some weird rock here, folks. This is literally, like, bedrock here. And it looks like lava. This is some strange rock underfoot here. I can hear the boat firing up over there. It sounds like a quad. Look at this. This, this is strange, the way this bedrock is here. It's almost like a volcanic seam or something running through the land here. It's just a different landscape to what we saw around the corner. Instead of the pebbles and the rocks with the grass growing, it's like solid smooth stone.
See this wall area here, folks? This is normally the edge of the water when it's up at its highest height. In the winter and that, the water will be up here, probably at the edge of this. That'll be how a lot of that bedrock's worn smooth. Look at this, folks. I'm interested to see how far we are from the dam here. This is literally just a spontaneous adventure. And it wasn't long ago I was just like driving along the road in my car and now here I am hopping across some vulcan volcanic rock beside an old loch. It's interesting the way they've built all this wall around the perimeter of the loch. That'll probably date back to the original dam in the 1800s, but then maybe not because I do think the dam was heightened and extended at a later period. So probably that's when this wall was put in. Maybe in the 1900s. Whoa. Some of these rocks is crazy. Like the way the bedrock is there, it's just... I wasn't expecting to see that around the side of here. It would be interesting to know though if there's a volcanic seam going through the middle of here. See the mark on the wall, that white line? That's from the water. That's the mark that the water leaves. So right now, if I was vlogging here and the water was at its normal height, it would just be the BKR hat sticking out the top of the water. See around here where the wind is too, that's what creates all these waves. Sometimes in a storm you'd be amazed at the size of the waves in a loch. Probably a lot of these pebbles and rocks have just chipped off this bedrock seam that runs along here. It's pretty crazy, folks. It's so interesting to see the different rocks. It's like rock with other stones like trapped within it, which makes me think at one time it was all like flowing and all these other rocks were getting pushed with the flow of the other rock. So it's all molten rock at different temperatures. So some of these other rocks would be in a hard state and all this would be flowing around it like lava. Billions of years ago, folks, that's what we're talking. Real history in this channel. The history of the land here. It's absolutely incredible. It's so much less windy right now, folks. Now I've come around this corner, it's like, it's a different area. The temperature's about 21 degrees Celsius today. So it's perfect, perfect conditions. Once again, folks, I'm curious as to what's around the corner at this outcrop of rocks here. We must be getting pretty close to the village of Lundrethen which the Lintrathen Loch Reservoir gets its name from. It's crazy to see the, the water line away up here at this height, and then you see the height of the water away down there. If this water supply here for Dundee is low, there's actually the bigger, slightly newer dam further up the glen, which is the backwater dam, and it's used to relieve this dam about so they've got full control of like the water supply between these two dams it, the, it, it also feeds like other Angus towns as well as Dundee so look at this folks the land here is just incredibly rocky I never realized that the ground was like this here I thought it would just all be kind of like muddy pebbles like what you see at all the other sides of this loch. Look at this folks, we've made it round to the old overflow, this is cool. You can see the level they've gone to here. There's actual natural bedrock here in this cliff at the edge of the loch, 
But what they've done is they've built all these stones in. So it's been a lot of hard work put in. They've sealed up any area like that. And look at that. It's pretty crazy landscape in here, like. There's been so much work done around the edges with those walls. They've just built right onto the bedrock, like. In a bygone era. This cliff here is incredible. I'm not sure, like, for, like at this area, if they used dynamite at one time to to blast the rock out to get the shape they needed. But I think for sure, round the corner here at the overflow, that's what they had done. Whoa. The wind's getting stronger around here now. Look at this folks, look at the way these old massive stones have been laid. These stones look like they've almost been reused from something else at one time, but maybe not. They've been they've been laid here to protect the side of the massive overflow. I have been to this overflow before on videos at Lintrath Loch, but I've always come from the opposite side. Look at this folks, this is incredible. Look at this folks, the workmanship and the engineering that went into it when they built the thing like this. It's incredible. Look at the way they've done it. So like when the water flows over the overflow, like all the momentum's killed so it just flows gently down back into the original little river. And then the original like old Victorian sluice gates are still in the middle where those little walls are. And yeah, it's a feat of engineering. For sure at that point they'll have blasted it and dug it out and the engineering that went into the thing like that is just incredible. The main road is just around the top there. So this has been crazy folks. What an adventure to come along here and see this. It's like a brand new a brand new adventure coming along like an area of land that I had never seen before. Whoa, the wind is starting to gust super strong there. Look at this spider here making its way along. Probably when I come out too well on the camera, but it's like a green body with orange legs almost. Yeah, it's often cool just to come down like a new path like that, that you've never been before. I wasn't sure like actually how far I would have to walk to get around here. It was cool to find all that bedrock as well along the side of the loch. Incredible, like, check this out folks, it's like... I've come here before when the water's been running over this and you can see the shape. Like, the steps get bigger the further down it goes. So. It breaks the water more and more, and the momentum's lost before it gets carried around the corner. It's impressive when you see it with the water coming over it, but also it's impressive to see it like this. Okay, and it's just sitting here waiting for the water to come over it once again. What a spot, folks. It's a little less windy down here in the in the hollow. A spot like this is like BMXers paradise folks. If you had stunt pegs on the thing you could be grinding these these edges here and it's limitless what you could do here at a spot like this. It's so cool. And then boom, up here back into the wind, overlooking this majestic loch scene here. It's incredible. Look at this how each stone's got a hole in the end which I'm not sure, it must have been for picking them up or whatever back in the day. Everyone, it looks like they've had cement in them at one time. Look at this folks, you can tell by the mark on the wall here from the water that the whole, wa the whole loch's depth is determined.
from this wall here. The depth of the whole lock, okay, and the way they've engineered it, this will be a totally level surface, so when the water goes over, it's just incredible. It flows over equally. But yeah, it's interesting when you see the watermark, the perspective you get as to, as to like how shallow the water is right now. I'm sure in this next four, like few months, this is like the most rainy month of the year, so yeah, it's quite cool to see it all adapt and change. Look at this, there's some funny saw marks, look. Like, that's been a rough stone they've used there at the bottom. That's been super cool, folks. It's been a while since I've looked at that one, Trath and Dam, and it's like, it's always mind blowing the amount of work and stuff that people put in when they were building that, like, just for obviously the water supply for people in Angus and Dundee. It's incredible. Like, at one time there was probably hardly any water here, and it's probably just like farmland or maybe even rough bog land. There is evidence at the other side of this lock of like what must have been a farm shed at one time or a little croft house. When I see a scene like this with this rock and I, and I can't even believe it's on Trath and Lock. I've explored around it so many times, but just never been to this this particular path. And it's been interesting to see like the causeway and some more bits of land that you then only see at certain times of year. This is crazy. The rocks are just worn from the water. Probably in storms and that, these rocks are just getting pounded like. That's why they've had to build a a dike around the outside of it. What a spot this is doing here too, folks. You could just sit here in the summer, a couple of deck chairs, barbecue, looking out over this incredible scene here. Wow, there's tons of geese flying over right now. That's been cool, folks. A one tracing adventure. Look at the size of that fungus there. There's a lot of these funguses at this time of year kicking about in the woods. Different sorts of mushrooms. They're total wild colours and they're all different. Look at that one there. And then you get all those little red ones. Anyway folks, we're just a bit back at the wee Honda. We're just a bit back at the main road. Anyway, there we go folks. Scottish Wildlife Trust. Lock of Lundtraith and Wildlife Reserve. I'll end it here. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one very soon. <laughs>